Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk to you about what's the difference between a standard drill and an impact driver. This video is for those of you that really aren't familiar with power drills or you might be looking for a new one and you don't know the difference between these two. So I'm going to show you why and how we use them and what the difference is. All right guys, so if you like this video or if you learned a little something or if you think it's good information, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. All right, so... What you see here is just, this is kind of a heavy duty drill. It's made by Metabo HPT. This is on their multi-volt platform. This is a little bit newer style drill. And we have a few of them. So I ended up with one of these uh, back at my shop and we happen to be working there today. So uh, this is their multi-volt platform. It's 18 or 36 volts. It's reverse compatible. So these batteries will work on older drills or so it'll work on an 18 volt platform at eight amp hours or it'll work on a 36 volt platform at four amp hours, which is what we like to run these drills on. I and mean, basically that's what we're running on when we're running on this drill here. So it's a brushless drill. It's good for outdoor use for all weather. And the main difference that you're gonna see between this drill and this drill, basically you can see a, bit, a difference in the size of these two drills the weight. Now this has a smaller battery on it. This is an older Hitachi, which is now Metabo HPT, but it's basically for our purposes, for our demonstration purposes, it'll work just great. So uh, impact drivers are a lot smaller. They're more compact and they usually deliver more impact per, per square foot or per square inch, whatever you're trying to drill. They usually drill things better. They also keep better engagement with the head of your fastener. So as you're drilling into things with this, and this is called a triple hammer, it has an additional mechanism inside the head, which helps drive the screws or the fasteners, the construction legs, or whatever you're trying to drive into your wood, a little bit better. So we use impact drivers quite often, but there are situations where you have to use a drill and I'll explain that in a minute. But right now I have both these drills chucked up with a T30. All right, so basically I'm gonna run these, they're just real short uh, two inch construction legs, a T30, and I'll run one this way. And that works great, but it almost wanted to rip my wrist off, right? Now I'll do it with the impact driver. Impact drivers are louder. So it doesn't it doesn't want to twist your arm off as you're running the screw. It takes more of the torque inside the head of the gun than a standard drill will. Let's do a quick speed test. I think I think these two will be about the same speed. To be honest. Okay, let's be equal. I think that's close. Let's just see speed-wise which one of these might go in at a quicker rate or not. One, two. That was unexpected. Let's do this again. Just remember, I do have a more powerful battery in this drill than I do in this drill. But let's just see what happens on three. One, two. So this drill did drill it in faster, but it does twist your arm at the end. Like it wanna twist your arm off a little bit. Another thing though, when you're considering a drill is what else can you do with it? See, an impact driver has a spring-loaded head and accepts a quarter inch shank bit. That's the only thing that you can fit into this impact driver. It has to have a quarter inch shank. But on the other hand, a spinner, a regular drill can fit that, but it can also fit all your drill indexes of different drill bits up to a half inch drill bit just by opening up the chuck and tightening it up and spinning it tight and then locking it down. But you're not gonna be able to fit any of these type of drill bits into an impact driver. We still do like our impact drivers because they're, they're light and they're fast. They are a little bit more obnoxious as far as noise, but they do drive, when you start trying to drive larger screws and larger construction legs into heavy duty beams, this little guy right here is actually gonna drive it better than this one will. You would have to slow this down into low speed and you still might have issues getting certain lags in that you will not have with an impact driver. So I hope that helps you out guys. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content 
And don't forget to like our videos and comment below and I'll get back to you in a timely fashion whenever possible. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.